Jason, Sixers make the right decision? No, not in my opinion. And, and listen, man, we're letting Twitter and everybody's feelings dictate everything. They had a standard that I happen to agree with. They don't want to bring politics into the national And anthem. most workforces agree with you. 100%. Accounting firms, law offices, hospitals. But again, if you allow her politics, and no matter how well disguised they were, we matter. Well, that could mean everybody and blah, blah, blah. But everybody gets the gist because, listen, if someone wants to come in with a Make America Great Again t-shirt, hey, well, what do you mean? I'm just saying Make America Great. This has nothing to do with politics. You can do all that. But the Sixers and sports teams don't want to turn the national anthem into some divisive, controversial event. Because for a large amount of people, it connects with our military. It, it connects with America, because I don't care what anybody says, and there are some bad things that happen in America, but America still does it better than everyone else. Because if it didn't, we'd all be moving someplace else, and we're not. It we couldn't get us out of here at gunpoint. Uh, you couldn't get us out of here with a stick of dynamite. So, again, at a sporting event, if the team wants to please its fan base, the people that are actually in the arena, not the people on Twitter trolling everybody, the people that are actually buying the tickets, the corporate sponsors that are sponsoring the suites, if they want to make the national anthem something that their fan base is comfortable with, as a business person in the NBA, and the players should think business first. They're not. They're not, and th they're letting politics creep into their sports. And we've empowered athletes, so if, as a father, if you try to mute them, they now have so many athletes to be heard, social media. You know, it used to be that a fan in America, unless you wrote a letter to the editor and the newspaper chose to print it, <laughs> the fans had no voice. Now they've got the internet. Now they can go after me or you. Now they have sports radio they can call shows. Well, similarly with athletes, they have so many avenues to create protests, to voice an opinion, to start the ball rolling. I think leagues are in a tough spot. I think the best thing to do, it's why I agreed with the NFL, empower them over time. If players don't feel muted, if they feel empowered, they'll eventually go back to their sport. And the Kaepernick situation now is largely we've moved on from it. I, listen, I, you, it's easy to say we've moved on to it, from it. These polls keep coming out saying viewers haven't moved on from it and they're leaving the NFL and that, that the national anthem thing is a part of that. Like, what we've created with social media is a loud minority. We used to talk about the silent majority. Well, now there's a loud minority that is dictating everything. And they're about 6% of the fans. Absolutely. I, don't, I wouldn't even give them 6% because most of them aren't fans. These aren't sports fans that are driving most of this discussion. It's a very loud minority that have run into sports. They don't care about the athletes. They don't care. Listen, I, I want to, because I know we got to get to break, but these athletes that, that, that think that they can bring bad business into their sports, and they're getting egged on by social media. Yeah, do things that are against the business interests of the NBA and the NFL. I want them to think, if they think America's so racist, when, when, when these racist people started this league, do you think they were sitting around going, you know, we're gonna create the NFL and NBA, and they're gonna make millionaires of all these black athletes. And so this is all by design. They were gonna make millionaires of all these athletes. It wasn't intended, of all these black athletes, it wasn't intended to do that. This is a blessing that we're slowly undermining the business of football and sports and, and pushing a narrative and some politics into it that's not good for business. And these leagues are very good to black athletes. They need to be more appreciative. They need to protest at police headquarters, not at your place of work. That's all I've been asking for.